other thing is, and it was mentioned this morning, the whole operation is, is or good parts of it are by volunteers. I've been involved with the co-op one way or the other. This will be the 60th year. The, the uh, plane itself, I don't think this was mentioned, and maybe you are all aware of this, when it is dispatched, and on weather conditions, dispatched by CAL FIRE, it flies at five to 6,000 feet and hits checkpoints. And these checkpoints are called into the emergency command center so that we know where that plane is at all time and which way it's headed. We cover the entire county, pretty much. You know, in the old days when we had lookouts, those lookouts could only see about 28% of the land surface. Well, that isn't true from the aircraft. And incidentally, if any of the board members would like to take a ride this summer, assuming that we have the, the uh, patrol, uh, I hope you contact us. You'll find it uh, very enlightening. And we're not uh, bashful about modifying or improving uh, what we see. Uh, a couple of, about three years ago, and I usually take a check ride. About three years ago, we moved the flight course up near Covalo, we moved it east, and then out over the top of San Hedron. And uh, gosh, what an improvement. Rather than having a ridge in between us, we were on top of it and could see both ways. But what we're after is early detection and immediate response. And one thing we tell people, we're not looking for dope. We're looking for smokes. And um, I've mentioned the checkpoints, the volunteerism. Um, we've had, uh, Joe mentioned a, a number of reports this morning. One thing I, I would like to mention though, and you folks may want to look at this, this is a this is a resolution. It's a smaller scale one that was presented to the co-op by the State Board of Forestry. And and about the same time, your board did the same thing, and that was a pat on the back. So the uh, the the activity is not a stranger to you at all, and we're we're darn fortunate. As far as I know, it's the only aerial fire patrol, uh, cooperative aerial fire patrol in the state. I just want to read you one little thing and then I'll sit down. And uh, I feel very close to this particular pra uh, paragraph. And this was in a, a Christmas mes message to all the subscribers. We like to personalize this activity. And you know, the people that are involved in this, I tell them, you're not only interested in fire on your own property, you're interested in fire on your neighbor's property. Fire doesn't know property boundaries. And we're interested in the welfare of the entire county against wildfires. This is the activity that's involved right in the center of this. Let me read this, then I'll sit down. We know the Cooperative Aerial Fire Patrol involves, you'll have to excuse me, more than just cost, flight hours, and management effort. It also involves a land ethic displayed by each of you, a voluntary interest to protect your property, your neighbors, as well as the county from uncontrolled fire. And this was written in 2008, was our 59th year. This will be our 60th of uninterrupted service by the oldest fire patrol program in California, an achievement uh, of which we can all be proud. This is an essential volunteer 
in-house program, born in another era, and still going strong because of your participation. Happy holidays. Thank you, Mr. Sweeney. Certainly this board totally supports the Air Co-op. Appreciate the board support. Thank you. And the support of the members. Okay, we're going to item 7B, but both our CEO and our Health and Human Services Agency director stepped out of the room, so let's move real quickly till they come back in. Can, can they, you go get Carmel and them. Uh, let's move to item uh, said, er, item 8A, committee reports and supervisor reports. Any uh, board members have reports that they would like to make? Yeah, Mr. Chairman. Okay, sure. Uh, very quickly, I, I would just like to report uh, on the recent meeting, last week's meeting of the uh, Railroad Authority. Uh, great concern was expressed there about some movement to uh, collateralize the uh, Ukiah Depot. Uh, we will be having uh, public hearings in uh, April and uh, we'll be addressing a wide range of issues that have been raised by that action. Uh, another item that needs to be uh, mentioned is that it looks like we are proceeding uh, apace with regard to getting the railroad uh, up and running as far as Windsor uh, within, within a year. Uh, to get the railroad to run from Windsor to uh, Willits, we're talking about in the neighborhood of uh, of approximately. Uh, just checking my numbers here because we're talking about uh, getting the railroad from Windsor to Willits was is a thirty-six million dollar uh, project. Uh, and that's $36 million that uh, we don't have. Uh, but uh, the concerns have been raised by a number of people as to whether or not the railroad is uh, in danger of being taken over by private hands or that the railroad is uh, in danger of uh, uh, impinging on some environmental concerns and so forth. Uh, I would uh, just report to the board as far as I understand it. Uh, these are not... Uh, these are not legitimate concerns, but it uh, was a very uh, heated and uh, and uh, lengthy meeting uh, when we discussed the depot and the consequences of moving that direction uh, at the most recent meeting, which I think will be remedying at the next meeting of the authority. So no motion, no action is taken. It's going to be uh, continued till April. The only action that was taken is that we will be looking at the depot uh, in terms of the, its future. There are some issues that, uh, in my opinion, need to be uh, uh, completely and thoroughly vetted. Uh, there, I think the action was taken uh, uh, without a full recognition of the uh, encumbrances. Uh, one one, super, one uh, member of the uh, board tried to make these points uh, one earlier on, and I, I was that particular member, but uh, it was assumed that we did not have these problems to the extent that we did. Any other reports, Supervisor McCown? Well, um, not, a, not to the report. I think perhaps we should defer that and move on with our item, but I just wanted to say I think perhaps this item would be an appropriate one to agendize for our discussion in advance of the NCRA further action on the item. If I may, I would suggest here that uh, as we move closer to that date, uh, I will be reporting back. It may be 